I told her that I have a girlfriend, but <laughs> she didn't care. And neither did you. <laughs> Jazz and I met on Tinder. We had an instant connection. I felt like Ashley was my soulmate. But one day I saw a text on her phone. She was calling some other girl daddy. Jazz walked out on me right then and there. I want to finally explain to her what happened and see if she'll give me a second chance. The girl you were texting, calling her daddy, did you, uh, did you sleep with her? No. I was just entertaining her. Wow. Has she ever said anything sexual to you then? Yeah. Did you tell her to stop? Yeah, I did. Did you? Yeah, I did. You did. But you told her, stop. Don't talk to me like that. I have a girlfriend. I can't do this. Is that what you said? I told her that I have a girlfriend, but <laughs> she didn't care. And neither did you. <laughs> Why would you call her something like that? I had her as a backup plan. Are you serious right now, Ash? Why would you do that? Because you told me about your past. You told me about how you would be with a girl every other night. You were kind of a f boy, to be honest. So how would I know that you would take me seriously? But when we started dating, all of that outside ended. And I told you about every single thing that I cut off. But did it really end though? Because you were still entertaining girls on Instagram. You were still flirting with girls in front of my face. So, did it really end? But I did every single thing that you're talking about in front of you. I'm not saying it was right, but I never hid anything from you, Ash. We had conversations about it afterwards and you told me that we could move on from that. What about that girl on Instagram with the comments? She's all yours? I don't even know that girl for real. You serious? We've learned it a little bit back and forth. Wouldn't you think that would hurt me? I'm sorry, I was wrong. I'm not perfect, but what you did was way more extreme. Wow. You hid everything from me. How? When you confronted I... me about everything, I was honest, I was open about it. I don't have anything to hide. You don't have anything to hide? Her messages were on do not disturb. You didn't tell me that you were talking to anybody else. I found out on my own. I think what hurts the most is that I trusted you so much. I was afraid of losing you, but you weren't afraid of losing me, and that's the problem. I was afraid of losing you. I felt like I had to have a backup plan because if you did hurt me, I don't know how I would have been able to deal with it. I know that when you met me, I didn't really have the best reputation, but your reaction was to go and start talking and sexting someone else. You made me feel insecure, so I acted out. And I'm sorry, I shouldn't have done that because I lost you in the end. You weren't just, you know, my girlfriend at that time. You were my best friend. Do you know what it felt like? to go through something like that and feel like you can't talk to anybody else because the one person I wanted to talk to was you and you were the person that hurt me. I never meant to hurt you. I love you. I miss the connection that we had when we were together. I just want you back. I miss you. Will you give me a second chance? You did really hurt me, but I do really love you, Ash. If we do do this, would you need a backup plan? No, the only person I wanna be focused on is you. I'm willing to try again, if you are. I am. Let's do it, let's try again. You're a little person. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So on this episode, we have these two girls who are in a relationship, but my thoughts on the situation. I actually don't like people who, they do shit in front of you and then they said, I was doing it in front of you. I was open and honest about what I was doing. Like, what's the difference? What? <laughs> people use this 
I told you about it, I was upfront about it as an excuse to whatever they are doing. Like, I had this girlfriend once who, she was cheating on me, she did have another boyfriend, and then she said, because I told you about him, you know about him, so don't act hurt because I was open that I'm, that I'm also seeing other people. Like, <laughs> these people, the audacity sometimes they have. Just because you told me you're doing it and you're not hiding, it does not make it okay. It, does, it just completely does not make it okay. And I really get where this girl is coming from, that her girlfriend felt insecure because of this other girl's past. She's been hoeing around all over and she... <laughs> And even during the relationship, she was still entertaining girls on Instagram, flirting. She even admits that she was flirting. So me as a girlfriend, why wouldn't I feel insecure? Why wouldn't I feel that I want a backup, for instance? I'm not saying what she did was okay. Because having a backup means that she was not fully in the relationship. And she was just waiting for an excuse to ditch this one and just prop up the backup again. But I kind of understand all sides of this situation and it was really a situation of their own making. It's both their faults, it was just action and reaction on both their parts. And when they were having this conversation and she was talking about, I have a very troubled past, I've been hoeing around, I actually thought she changed. And do you guys think someone can change? If someone has been a fuckboy for most of their relationship and they have a pretty stellar reputation for hoeing around, do you think they can actually change for you? If you were this girl, would you try Trust that she changed would you anyway guys that's my thoughts on this situation I will link their Instagrams in the description and on the pinned comment that's all from me I'll see you guys next time bye you made out with my teammate okay